Hi, I'm Mary McEntee, and this is my son, Connor. My name is Joe Strail, and my father was Detective Steve Strail. These are the faces of those who benefit from your generosity. Hi, my name is Laura Morrison. And I'm Megan Morrison. I'm Michelle. I'm John. I'm Holly. I'm Will. And we're the Stanzies. The faces of those who benefit from the Backstoppers, an organization assisting families of first responders who have lost their lives or been critically injured in the line of duty. My name is John Bruff. We have to have the ability when we take a look at that young wife, are those family members, are those young children, to say, listen, Backstoppers is there for you. We're there for you. We're going to take care of you now and forever. The jobs of police officers, the jobs of firefighters, EMS members, medical workers is continually expanding. We're getting busier and busier. We're asked to do more and more with less. And we do it every day without questioning. Let's face it, being a police officer, being a firefighter, being a paramedic is a dangerous job. And when you leave the house every day and you say goodbye to your loved ones, you never know if you're going to come back. It's happened far too many times in our community. Soon after the funeral, everybody else's life does go on and yours is still kind of turned upside down. But Backstoppers make sure that you and, and your kids are taken care of for as long as you need them. It was just really wonderful to have somebody who uh, was there for me and who I know wasn't gonna leave me. And it's been 14 and a half years and they, they're still with us. The support Backstoppers provides families of fallen or critically injured first responders is immediate and ongoing. Fact. Backstoppers currently supports more than 80 families, covering essentials such as mortgages, car payments, and education for children. Fact, since its inception in 1959, Backstoppers has supported some 160 families. Fact, Backstoppers provides a safety net for police, firefighters, and EMS workers in 18 counties throughout Missouri and Illinois. I think everybody associated with the Backstoppers would like nothing more than to never again uh, have to meet with a family uh, 24 hours or within, within a day of the time their loved one is killed, but we know that that's, uh, that's not going to happen. Everywhere I go, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, they ask me the same question. How does Backstoppers do it? You ready to go get a bath and a boy for Backstoppers? Washing dogs in South City, playing polo in Eureka, or stomping grapes at a Farmington winery. Make no mistake, virtually every week, the St. Louis region proudly pulls together, supporting Backstoppers with an endless array of fundraisers. Police officers, firefighters, don't do the job for money. They don't do it because of the accolades. They do it because it's a calling. And when the community steps up and says, we've got your back, when they can raise money through a car wash or motorcycle ride, you know, any kind of tournament, that's awesome. Nowhere is the support for our hometown heroes more evident than here, ringside, at the annual Guns and Hoses fundraiser. For more than 30 years, first responders have traded blows while raising money and awareness for backstoppers. Well, St. Louis is a very charitable town and there's, there are a lot of great causes out there, but to see what the first responders do, the police, the firefighters do on behalf of our community, the way that they put their lives in the line, I think it's great for us corporate citizens to give back. Blake was a very loving and kind man. He lived his life to serve others. So whenever he decided to be an officer, I wasn't really surprised because it fit him. And he was amazing at it. He was a great officer. And um, he was taken too soon. The outpouring of support was overwhelming for 33-year-old Blake Snyder a St. Louis County police officer killed in the line of duty in 2016. 
this idyllic family was suddenly shattered. Response from the Backstoppers was immediate. Backstopper showed up um, at my door with just the biggest hug ready for me. They were just ready to embrace me. And they reassured me at that moment that I had nothing to worry about. They are guardian angel. They're there in that moment of grief when you think there's no way I, I can go on. Backstoppers helped us to be able to continue to be a family unit, even though we were down one, you know, down our main guy, Derek. For the families of Angela Martin and Cindy Ballman, the pain has diminished, but will never disappear. I was a widow, and how was I going to survive? How were my kids going to survive? You know, knowing that their husband and their father wasn't coming home. <laughs> Officer Tom Ballman was among those killed at Kirkwood City Hall when a gunman went on a rampage back in 2008. Captain Derek Martin also died heroically, attempting to rescue a fellow firefighter from a burning building in 2002. I was able to continue to keep those kids in private school and um, to give them the things that they needed in life, uh, just the basic, you know, health care and education, all because the backstoppers are the best. They paid off the mortgage. They paid off our car loan. They paid off some credit card debt. They also took over my health insurance for my kids and myself. If I ask, they don't hesitate. There you go. So our characters are... Today, the Ballman and Martin families do their best to carry on all living life to the fullest while honoring their husbands, fathers, and fallen heroes. Backstoppers has been a member of our family. They have been like the sixth person. Derek was fifth. I would say Baxter, we could call them our sixth person because without them, I don't feel like we would have been the family that we are today. With the Backstoppers in general, they don't forget the fallen. And that means that they don't forget the families. That means that they are always going to honor the memory of those first responders that we've lost. On behalf of our family. Thank you. We thank you. Thank you. To those who have supported Backstoppers, I'd say from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for supporting our fallen heroes and their families. Lemonade for Backstoppers. You could not find a better cause, and I can guarantee you personally, whatever money you donate, it'll be money well managed and well spent on these families. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you. On behalf of my family,